Yes, this is my kind of tavern. I hope the ale won't disappoint me either. But business comes first. Remember, Finn, the foundation of victory is a well-assembled deck. Get your cards out. Let's see what you've got. Here's your character's deck. It always contains exactly ten cards. All cards are divided into factions, which can be filtered. However, you don't have anything apart from Berkanen cards yet. Let's replace at least one of your rangers with an enforcer. This is a powerful character that is able to destroy your opponent's equipment. Now make the change. Great! Let's work with the support cards now. I can see that you have a herbalist bag. It will make it much easier for your character to survive your opponent's onslaught. Place it in the deck instead of the Strix earrings. That's better. All that remains is to add the commander card I gave you. He knows how to heal characters in battle at the cost of his health. So use that ability wisely. Select him. Good. Remember that you can save different decks so they can be swapped quickly. Let's battle each other and find out if you've learned anything at all. The task is simple. Don't let your character get killed by using items in the commander's ability. Don't forget to examine your opponent's warriors, lad. It's always useful to know their special features and equipment. You can also see the cards that your opponent played on the last turn. Don't forget about your commander's abilities either. They will make your life a lot easier. I hope this will help you at the tournament. Don't embarrass me, lad. I will watch you carefully and help however I can. But I'm going to have a mug of ale first. Let's see if it's as good as your mentor told me. Well, my boy, we should get to the tournament. But you still have time if you want to study your deck or change something in it. Leave the tavern once you're ready. Welcome to the Burkana Tournament. It looks... impressive, but I don't know anything about the rules. That is the hardest part about the game, Finn. The rules change every battle. Sometimes even in the middle of the fight, if your opponent wills it. I don't understand. Is that fair? Of course not. 
but the purpose of the game is to prepare future commanders for war. Which means a challenger must display tactical flexibility and know how to adjust to any situation. Be prepared for unpleasant surprises. You think I can do it? You're a clever and talented boy, Finn. You learn quickly and aren't afraid to make decisions. These are the qualities of a good commander. Besides, I have also given you an excellent military education, and I believe it is no worse than what they teach in Phrygia. Where should I start? These battles are the qualifying round. You can replay them all as many times as you like. Get familiar with the rules and experiment. Challengers who get through the qualifying round will get the opportunity to fight for real in more difficult battles, but I will tell you about that later. First, you need to pass your first qualification. And don't worry, I'll be right here. You are going to be battling a bandit deck, Finn, so watch and learn. In time, you will have to know how to play with these cards. Yeah, these scumbags can really poison your day. Shame that I never learned to play properly with them. Take my advice, lad. Don't repeat my mistakes. Study. It will serve you well in Frisia. Bandits use poisoned weapons. If an attack of a character deals any damage to your fighter, they will die. Enemies with poisoned weapons are marked with a drop symbol. Be careful. The enemy commander uses a mass stun. 
Stunned units can't move or attack for a whole turn. Done, my boy. Your first victory in the tournament. I'm proud of you. Come on, Uncle. That was just one battle. Only for now. I'm sure your second victory is near at hand. Keep going. The main thing is to survive the first attacks. Your opponent has an advantage. He plays more support cards per turn, and his characters counterattack. Use your brain, lad. If your opponent has more items, then use the Enforcer. He breaks items with every hit. He won't last long without protection, though. But that's up to you to work out. I'm sure you'll manage. Oh. Her cannons are strong for their equipment. While most units can be equipped with only two items, some her cannons can carry three. In this battle, the enemy will not have many units. But each of them can counterattack and will be significantly enhanced with items. You're doing well so far, Finn. But what will you do with these archers?
My boy, you'll only have one warrior in this battle. The one you choose yourself, so choose wisely. You probably should focus on attacking. If you get to their commander quickly, That's if they allow you to get there. While your commander can heal, he will get down quickly himself. You don't need that many wits to go around one warrior. So, I don't even know what to advise, lad. Sorry. I'm sure you'll come up with something, Finn. Good luck. In this battle, you need to select a character you will play with, as the rest will be taken away. Think hard about your choice, Finn. A lot depends on it. I hope you made the right choice. Concentrate on the survival of your warrior. Not bad, Finn. You've held on long enough to get help. Use the card you were about to get. You can play it for free alongside the standard cards, and it will give your character the ability to equip more items.
you can challenge an adjutant. Remember, these fights are tougher than usual. Maybe you should qualify for the adjutant first to earn rewards and prepare yourself. The choice is yours, Finn. Thanks for the advice, Uncle. I will think on it. Be careful, Finn. Murderer strengthens all the bandits on the battlefield when he dies. You should think about how to neutralize him or hold him off until you can deal with the other bandits first. First adjutant, and you just learned how to play.
Maybe I just got lucky. Try facing the next adjutant, my boy, and we shall see.